Tropical cyclone Imnati, as seen on the satellite loop, is just a few hours away of making landfall over the east coast of Madagascar. This is the fourth storm of the cyclone season slamming into Madagascar. And Imnati follows nearly the same track as Batsirai that led to widespread flooding, devastation and loss of lives earlier this month. Stay safe. Please adhere to all weather warnings and our thoughts and prayers goes out to all of those affected. A quick side note, as soon as Imnati moves over Madagascar, the storm will quickly weaken and slip south. So there's no threat to the African continent or South Africa. So let's have a look at your Wednesday weather back home. It looks like Wednesday is going to be another mainly dry and hot day across South Africa. Later, a southwesterly to westerly wind picking up over parts of the Cape provinces, especially in the crew, and a few isolated showers expected over KwaZulu Natal, as well as isolated storms in the forecast for Limpopo, parts of the High Felt, and this includes Mpumalanga, and evening drizzle possible along the southern Cape coastline. Starting with your forecast in the Western Cape, a high of 31 degrees expected in Frandol. Temperatures in the upper 30s for the Winelands as well as the Swatlands. A light wind blowing in Cape Town, a comfortable 26 expected the afternoon. Also 26 in Mossel Bay and 27 degrees in George. A high of 36 degrees in Beaufort West. It's a hot and windy day, therefore runaway fires are at risk over large parts of the Karoo on Wednesday. A mainly northwest wind blowing along the coast of the Eastern Cape 27 and East London as well as Port St. John's and due to the heat a few isolated thunderstorms are likely to bubble up over the interior as well as the northeastern part. It's a mostly cloudy to cloudy day for Kuzulu Natal, a northeasterly wind blowing along the coast with a slight chance of a few isolated showers moving over the central parts and thunderstorms developing over the north. 30 degrees in Mombela, it's a mostly cloudy day in parts of Mpumalanga and a few isolated thunderstorms likely from late afternoon. Another hot day for Limpopo and due to the heat, a few thunderstorms are likely to bubble up over the central parts of the province from late afternoon. Another hot and dry day for northwest. No rain in the forecast for the central and western parts, with a slight chance of thunderstorms moving over the extreme eastern parts of northwest from late afternoon. It's a hot, dry, and windy day on Wednesday for the northern Cape. Therefore, runaway fires are at risk, especially in the crew, with that westerly wind expected to blow fresh from late afternoon. In the free state, 30 degrees in Bluefontein, 31 degrees in Valcom. It's a mainly sunny and hot day. Lots of sunshine and becoming hot in Halting on Wednesday, later partly cloudy, 28 degrees in Johannesburg, with a slight chance of thunderstorms developing here and there from late afternoon. On a Thursday, still sunny, hot and dry over the Cape provinces, but light showers possible along the southern coastline. And then into Friday, reaching a high of 32 degrees in Pretoria. Therefore, a few heat thunderstorms expected over the high felt, as well as Limpopo and parts of Mpumalanga. Well, that's all from me. And remember, no matter the weather, we're in this together.